when you come to the Keys, there's, there's no way you cannot go yellowtail snapper fishing. It is one of the most sought after fish down here. Here we go. It's a little supper. You know, I had seen a couple of really nice mangroves swimming around in the chum. That's got a good color. Oh yeah. Big old mangrove, buddy. Bubbles up. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Cold front's upon us. I got you, some foul weather gear. How many people you owe yellowtail to? <laughs> Everybody likes to eat some yellowtail. I know, I know. Well, little rock, paper, scissor, who gets to throw the net? Uh, you lose. I, I'm nursing this bad shoulder. I got you. Here's what I know. If we're going yellowtail, we don't have to go far. Yeah, we're going to get some ice right here at the old Ocean Edge fuel dock. I think we're good on fuel. You know what they say, the captain's always right. I, I trust you. You ready? Yeah. I got a spring line on here. We're out of here. OK, go get some yellow gold. I think the pilchards are right around the corner. Couldn't get any better than that. It'd be nice if we get them right there. Oh, there's a good one right there, right in the middle of the channel, right on the edge of the flat, downwind. Can we go on that flat this morning, trimmed up? Um, Port side? You got to stay to the edge until you get off a little bit, you know? And I'll, I, once I get up there, I can direct you. OK. But just go real slow, bro. When you come to the Keys, there's, there's no way you cannot go yellowtail snapper fishing. We've done it every year. Um, you know, we've had days where the water was crystal clear and you can see the fish on top eating the live bait. We've had it when it's dirty, you don't get to see them. Uh, but one thing that always remains the same is that it is one of the most sought after fish down here. That's what we do in our families. It, what we eat every day. Every restaurant in this town serves yellowtail snapper. It's, it's readily available. Um, there's a lot of commercial fishing uh, that goes on for the yellowtail snapper. And, um, you know, we brought a lot of chum. They get fed every day. Whether I'm feeding them or you're feeding them, somebody's feeding them every day. There's commercial boats out there. Um, it's a highly, it's a highly sought after snapper in all of Florida. And there's people on the water every day that it's fishable, feeding those fish and training them. When you got a little bit of current, Scott, you know, it, it helps push everything back and those fish will line up and really kind of stay got, in one spot and get happy. They gotta happy. work a little harder. Whereas right now it's it's rough and we don't have much current at all and, and we're kind of just swinging back and forth and the fish are kind of straight down but maybe they'll get themselves they figured come, out. They don't have to come to the surface when the chum goes straight down to them. Yeah, give it some time though, it might get right. But I mean, heck, it's blowing 20, and you can come out here. You know, we left right out of Ocean's Edge Marina there. Resort, I guess it is. Not just a marina anymore. Not it's anymore, a, baby. A resort, swimming pools, how are the rooms? They're, it's Beautiful. absolutely glorious. It's got a lot of people see all these fish, and they'll be like getting excited, wanting to get a line in the water. But as we've done it before and like said me? it. me? Yeah, said it a million times. <laughs> well, you always get excited when it comes to fishing. It's a good thing. But uh, you just want to wait. You don't want to jump into fishing for these fish. You want to let them rise up. You want to let them get real happy. You start showing line to them too fast, they're going to go down, and you're going to work a lot harder all day long. So Well, they know that there's other chum lines out there that it can. We've been here maybe 10 minutes. We're going to let it run a little longer. And uh, hopefully these fish will come up a little closer, be a little easier to catch. A lot of times, if you catch them way back, the sharks will get you. So it works all kinds of ways. You know, It makes it easier to catch them. Keep the sharks off of them. But look here, you got mangroves mixed in. No, it's beautiful. Big the mangroves. Are starting to get the yellowtails aren't going to let them take over for long. They're the boss. I do want to come back here and get these speedos next time we're fishing together. Drag them all over this reef. There's a couple of hops, mangroves there. Oh, that's sick. You got a yeller. There you go. 
Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Simrad. Go with confidence. Hawks K Resort, the only key you'll need. Shimano. Bubba Blade, the ultimate lifestyle. Yeti, built for the wild. And by Power Pro, Sea Deck, and Costa. What we need to do, Scott, is I'll give you this. What are you, you going to give me? Little tiny, tiny bait. You got it. And then I'm going to go get another block of chum. Okay. And put it in there. Tiny, 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 tiny baits coming up. Little tiny baits. Just like I cut my onion, Steve. Dude, that's sick. There's that mangrove for you, right there, that monster. What's your odds? That yellowtail's too small. I want a big one. There we go. That mangrove right there. I'm gonna there. get him right there. Ah, oh, chub. <laughs> You fish back there? And if there's any blood, I don't want to get your bloody in your jeans. You feel like a little kid on a dock, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> there he comes. The mangrove? Yeah. There he goes. He, he ain't dumb, believe me. I'm looking right at him. And he's looking right at me. <laughs> That's the funny part. Oh, there he was. He slipped up. You didn't tell me he was there. He's right underneath the chum bag. <laughs> Those are some monster chubs, no doubt. Those chubs would crawl right in that chum bag and be happy. Yellow bug. Oh, the other. Here we go. It's a little supper. Whole fried. You know, we brought a lot of chum. And, and I was ready to try to really get those fish up on top where we could see them. Unfortunately, that front had come through and it, it was not a lot of sunlight, but for a little bit of time, we had those fish right on the bag. I mean, it was it was as cool as you could, you know. Oh yeah. It, it's like fishing in an aquarium. When you're looking over the side and there's you know, 1,000 Speedos and there's you know, 100 chubs. Right on the bag and then they, they slide away and then at the yellow brick road behind the boat. It's just, and I think we got a really whaled on them had we had a little current, but you know, yeah. we can't make the current. No. We, we, when we leave the dock in the morning, it is what it is. It's west current, it's east current, or it's no current. Yeah, so, so we, you know, we did our, our goal, you're allowed uh, 10 yellowtail per person, so we, we got out there and we wanted to get our limited yellowtail. It wasn't as close visually as we'd like it, but it, it was cool. Got Bob. Oh, that was a yellow tail over there. Eating a freebie. Got a yeller. There you go. We're set up with our favorite all round outfit is the uh, Twin Power 8000 with. 30 pound braid, a 10 foot of fluorocarbon, 15 or 20 pound, and a number one hook. And the size of your little fingernail. Yeah, oh, that hook's too small. That hook is just right. It'll catch fish up to 50 pounds. And you want to match the chunks of the coming out of your chum bag with the size of your baits. Yellowtails are eating small stuff, so pick, put small baits on your small hooks and then just try to match the speed of the current. Throw it in with a big chunk, follow it with your eyes, just keep pulling your line off, the same pace the current's taking the bait away, and you'll be hooked up. Never stop the line from going out, just wait for it to accelerate. Rainbow runner. There's a yellow tail of sorts.
I haven't eaten too many of them, but just gonna let him go. That's a cool fish, though. I generally catch those in the summertime, dolphin fishing under under float. I always thought it was a, a sashimi fish, but it's pretty dark meat. Yeah, it reminds me of a like a hamachi or a Pacific yellowtail kind yeah. of sort of. I thought it'd be real similar, but it wasn't. <laughs> They're just end up being just pretty. Very pretty. Hey, hey you. Hey, you want to see more of Into the Blue? Well, you can. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even come on over to our YouTube channel. See you there. Power Pro Depth Hunter. It's an amazing product by Power Pro, and what it does is it has color coded the line. Okay, so every 25 feet, there's a different color on the line. So when we're out there jigging in the deep water, I can mark the fish on the bottom machine. If they're at 75 feet, I know that three colors and I'm in the fish. It is an awesome, awesome way to make sure your bait is where it needs to be. Um, sometimes we're sword fishing out deep, 1,800 feet of water, and I'll say, let me bring the bait up 200 feet. Well, I know that eight color changes and I am exactly 200 feet of line has just got back on the reel. Um, really cool for fishing deep, doing the bottom thing, wanting to know exactly where your bait is in the school of fish that you're marking. The way to accomplish that is Power Pro Depth Hunter. Look at those yellow tails coming in on the top of those chubs. Come on, there we go. That's a yellow tail. Look like bigger fish that time. Oh yeah, here you go, Scotty. Come here, there we go. I'll keep the mackerel at bay. That's teamwork. Yellow tail, their tail's so big for this fish, they're real powerful for, as soon as they get to this 14, 16 inches. It's beautiful. There's two beautiful flays right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, mackerels are here. There's so much scallywags on top, I'm trying to get underneath them with a little lead weight. Shooting down underneath that stuff real quick. See if there's any uh, mutton snappers or mangrove snappers. Oh, yellowtail coming in now, buddy. Yeah, right. Point and shoot right there, buddy. That was. Should have picked one with a little bit bigger one on the left. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was going back over, I think. Just because the yellowtails are on top, we got a lot, lot of other things on the bottom looking up at us now. Been here over an hour. Yeah, it's a mangrove pecking on them. There it is. There we go. That's not a blue runner. No, man, that's got good color. Oh, yeah. Big old mangrove, buddy. Bubbles up, bubbles up. Woo! Watch out, it's coming in. It's a nice mangrove snapper. <laughs> Dog. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you come out when it's blowing 20. <laughs> Let him bite you. Gonna get this hook. He does want to bite me. Well, that'll go I had good. to bump that jig up another quarter inch. A little heavier? Yeah. The blue runners are still getting me. It's That's right. what I'm talking about, Cap. It's nice mangrove, buddy, for the reef. Boom. Reef fishing in the Keys. Going back down. You know, I had seen a couple really nice mangroves swimming <laughs> around in the chum. With and, the chubs, uh, which made it really difficult. Yeah, and I tried to like, you know, <laughs> get one, but uh, the chubs were just too aggressive. But the thing is, is that um, you finally said, man, let me put one on the bottom with a little jig head. And man, those mangroves were really nice sized fish. They were a true bonus. You know, it's not very often that you can be yellow tailing and the current's light enough that you can get a pilter to the bottom with a small jig. Yeah. You just have to use a big jig and that really turns off the bite you're really after. 
but you had those nice little three eights and I could get them 50 feet down. Well, you needed the big jig, not because of that's what the fish were biting. That was the only way you can get down fast enough yeah. through all the other predators that were there. Yeah, we didn't want to eat the blue runners and the cerro mackerels and the kingfish and bonitas. And as I prop the yellowtail as one of the best eating fish down here, I'm gonna tell a little secret. <laughs> My favorite is the mangrove snapper. Right. I mean, it truly is. It's heartier. Yeah, it's got a little more <laughs> chicken flavor to it. You know what I mean? It's a little bit tastier. Ooh, got a snapper. Mangroves. Wayne Grove, mangroves. Oh, don't let the shark get him. Come on, Scotty. Don't let the shark have him. The mangrove up here. That's Ooh. how you do it. That's how you do it. Trying to put spines in my sea deck, are you? Well, that's the bolster. You got the hook in the bolster. <laughs> gotcha. Uh. Till the yellowtails show up, I'll take these all day long. Those are really nice mangroves, buddy. I have to say, we, we didn't get the big yellowtails we wanted. Yeah. But I am telling you, the mangroves were far superior than anything I expected. Oh, great mangrove bite. And we are, these are so big, we're going to leave the scales on, right? That's the way you want them? Yeah, we're going to cook them on the grill, like we do a lot of the fish we do, skin and scales down. Very simple, get a hot grill, you lay the filet, skin and scales down, and all you do is you melt you some butter, put some Italian dressing, and a little salt and pepper in there, and just brush that on. Oh, and can you add a little teriyaki to yeah, that? Yeah, you can add some teriyaki if you like, and just brush that on as the fish is cooking. W once you take your fork and you stick it in there and it flakes and it's done, right to the plate, man. And you can burn them, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, this, the, the, scale. the flesh can't get burnt because of the, yeah. protect, the protective coating of the scales. And there's a there's like a layer of oil between the skin the skin and the flesh that we normally would take off that has so much flavor and it super cooks them they yep. cook so quickly this way. And I cut these pin bones out for the kids, you know, just to oh, keep yeah. this thing totally bone. Bone skin a bone in your house. Yep. We just take this little bit of front pin out. Boys. Sorry. Too just slow. like that. And you say you just stick that joker right on the grill. Lay it down just like that on the hottest grill you got. And then have you your just... sauce with your little brush right <laughs> up to the side. Yep. Baste... Don't walk away from it. It's going to cook fast. Baste it down. It'll be done. Then take your fork and you see that that's done, serve it. It's, it's probably be the best fish you ever had. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, has been brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. West Marine, for your life on the water. Scales, every degree of water. Mercury Marine, go boldly. And by Ameritrail, Spear One Charters, and Ocean's Edge Resort and Marina. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, he just changed the shark. No, 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 big, no, no. Big mutton. We got him. We got him. Lift. We'll rock you up. Lift. Get him, get him, get him. Black grouper. Button snapper. Doing the old sidestep move. Gotcha. Gotta be bigger than that out there. Come on. Come on. Big wave. Yeehaw. Big wave. Why would you want to be anywhere else? Uh, turn your head. Big amberjack, light tackle, <laughs> five foot seas. AJ, <laughs> I'm going right back. Those were awesome snappers to be catching, good size for this time of year. 
Um, yeah, so it you was a did great. Mention, it was like it was a spawn, and it really felt like it because I think I've dropped 20 times, had 20 on. No, no, no. great, great bonus fish. Um, you know, they'll bite you, so you got to be careful. Yeah. Uh, we, we've caught them in many, uh, many different locations, but it's always cool in the wintertime to just pop out on the reef, anchor up, and you can catch your limited snapper. Uh, you know, pretty easy down here in the Keys. Oh, it might be our first mutton. Sand Key. There's a real yellow tail coming over the, over the board. We need him. Take that. Let me get out of your way. We're right in the bucket with that thing. No, we said it a million times. We love, love, man, cooking these with the skin and scales down, you know? Well, I'm doing that with these mangroves, but this, these yellow tails, since they're not the real slobs, I just got a new deep fryer. You gonna marinate them in some grease? I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce them to some hot grease. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna scale these and gut them real good, and then pat them with a little salt and pepper, and I'm gonna score the skin. And then as soon as they come out, I'm gonna put slices of key lime on there, salt them again, serve them whole on a plate. You're making me hungry. I know, it's gonna be good. I've been in Key West too long, get a little of that Cuban influence. A little shot of flour on there wouldn't hurt. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, we'll get rid of him and we'll get out of here, man. Get this anchor up. All right, I'm gonna start packing the fish while you catch one more. All right. And we gotta, we're not far away, but we got a nice slow ride home. We gotta take our time. It doesn't get any easier than that, Steve. Half oh. ounce naked lead, a little pilchard, and a Shimano Twin Power. Yeah, man. Caught fish all day long.